Good morning, children. Hope you all are doing well. Now it's a monsoon season, and I'm sure that you are taking care of your health during the monsoon. Now, in the previous class, you have learned uh, vowel pairs, consonant pairs. So, I just have a quick revision of vowel pairs so that you learn them. Children, you have to learn the spellings of those words so that you will remember those words always. So, I just revise and you revise it with me. First, vowel pair double E. We have taught you words with double E. So, B double E. B. Double E sound is a long sound. Double E. S H double E P. She F double E T feet. This she is animal from which we get wool. And S H I P ship with a short sound that is a ship which sails in the sea. Okay? So you know you should know the difference. Okay. Next after that, next one pair is E A. With this T E A T. We drink tea, your mama must be drinking tea in the morning. T. P E A P. So vegetable. I love P. L E A F leaf. All the trees, all the plants have leaves. So a single leaf is leaf. After that, double O pair. B double O K book. All of you have books. C double O K cook. The one who cooks food is cook. M double O and moon. You see moon in the night in the sky at night. After that O A. O A pair. So with this the words are B O A T boat. All of you have seen boat? In the river? They sail in the river? And then C O A T coat. When it is very cold in winter, we wear coat. And then G O A T coat. Goat is an animal. You all are, you all might, might have seen this. And then we have last one where O U. So I write here H O U. S E house. We live in house. M O U S E mouse. Tiny animal. Sometimes it comes in the house. R O U N D round. Such shape. Round. Something which is circle, circular. That is called round. So, now children, you have to learn the spellings of these words or whatever is given in your e-content. So, you have to learn for practice. You can ask your mama or papa to give you dictation time to time so that you will come to know that whether you have learned correctly or not. Okay? Now, see what I got. What is this? What is this? This is an pomegranate. But what is that? What is that? That is a pomegranate. This is a pomegranate. That is a pomegranate. What is the difference? So when we indicate, when we indicate or show anything to us, we use this or that. But when do we use this? We use this when the things are very near to us. When they are close to us. Very close. Just here. Just 
near to you so this pomegranate is very near to me so i would say this is a pomegranate but when the things are far away very far away we say that so that pomegranate is far from me so i will say that is a pomegranate so these are called indicating or we say demonstrative pronouns what are de demonstrative pronouns this or that but when we use this or that we use only for one thing one person or one animal okay always remember this or that is always used for only one thing one animal or one person so i'll show you some more things this is a brinjal but that is a butterfly you can see the butterfly is far from me so that is a butterfly now children let's do how can you read it in your book so i'll show you i have written something there is a you can see this chart here this leaf this is very near to the margin or the number from where we are starting to read so that means this leaf is near so we will say this is a leaf because the leaf is quite near but see that tree that is far from the margin of the copy or book so we will read that is a tree now again butterfly is near we will say this is a butterfly that is a pen why because the pen is quite far that again that that is a book the book is also very far so we will say that now this is an apple the apple is quite near and so we will say we will use this this is an apple but why an why didn't i say this is apple because in the previous class you have learned use of a and an and apple's spelling is starting with a vowel sound a and a is a friend of n your teacher has taught you that all the vowel sounds uh, are the friend of an so because apple's spelling is starting with a so we will say this is an apple okay now have you understood use of this and that this means the things which are quite near near to me and that means we will use that when i am indicating something which is far which is far from me i'll say that suppose what is this this is a pen because why i am saying this because it is quite far near to me it is just in front of me just here but if i throw it there i have thrown the pen now it is quite far so i will say that is a pen i will not use this when i point what is that i will say that is a pen okay now i have done written some exercises let's see what i will write here now see i am standing here and this is raju he is raju he is a boy so because raju is a person and he is alone here i can use this is a boy what i can say this is a boy so i will write here p h i s you have to learn the spellings because now you are writing sentences and one more thing i want to tell you that when you start writing the sentence the first letter always should be capital and you can see in the end i have given one dot what is that full stop that means the sentence is over so always begin the sentence with capital letter and end with full stop okay now she is rani she is a girl but she is quite far so what i will use this or that yes i will say that that and rani is a girl so i will say that is a girl so i write t h a t that that is a girl this is a boy that is 
becomes a girl. Now you have already read that this is an apple. An apple. What is that? What is that? That is a carrot. That. That is a carrot. So. I hope you have understood the concept of this and that. When you are showing, when you are pointing, when you are indicating something and asking, we use this. But when, when do we use this? When the things are quite near to us. And we are, when we are showing, indicating, pointing something very far and the thing is only verbal, we say that. Okay? Now let's have some fun. And for that, I need some help. So I call Abarna ma'am to help me. Abarna ma'am, please come. Good morning. So we are going to have some fun. Abarna ma'am, I'll ask you something. You will please give me the answer. Okay. What's this? What's this? What is this? This is a bee. This is a bee. This is a bee. Buzz, buzz. What's that? What's that? What is that? That is a tiger. That is a tiger. That is a tiger. Roar. What is this? What is this? What is this? This is a snake. This is a snake. This is a snake. Hiss, hiss. What is that? What's that? What is that? That is a bird. That is a bird. That is a bird. Chip, chip. What is this? What's this? What is this? This is a frog. This is a frog. This is a frog. Did it? Ribbit. What's that? What's that? What is that? That is a wolf. That is a wolf. That is a wolf. Woo! <laughs> so children, hope you have enjoyed the lesson. So we'll meet in the next class. Till then, take care. Take care of health. Enjoy the weather. But take care of your health also. Drink some drop hot soups in the evening and play some games in the house. Okay, inside, don't go outside. Bye bye.